It is August the 20th. I haven't done a video um, until this one right here. Let's see what date it is. Today's August the 12th. August the, August the 12th. August the 12th. So, I haven't done a video in eight days. Eight days. As y'all know, I didn't get my videos up because something wrong with computer. And but here they are now. This one got six views already. So I'm gonna do another video about my egg incubator. It's gonna be this one. And here's chicken egg, and I'm gonna go do that one in a little bit, but here's chicken egg. I'm sensitive to dairy and I can't have lactose. This ice cream is so good. It's been... Sorry about that. It's August 8, 2015. Look at that. Baby chicken. So, there's a little short video of that one. It's a minute, 39 seconds. Um, but, yeah, go check out that one. Go check out some more of mine. And pretty good. I got different things, like my chicken laying an egg. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Let's see what all this fit is about. Got one that's chicken sex, having sex. My chicken's having sex. Uh, named. I'm gonna try to find that. The fifth. Well, apparently, I know what's on here. I do, cause I, I've seen it before. I just don't know where it went. My chicken's having sex. It's on here. Got to be. It. It's gotta be on here somewhere. I got one about my cat right here. Lazy cat. Got a four foot lamp. Yeah, go check out that. That's pretty good. Two baby coons. Yep, was over Jim Lane's. Um, sold them three Rhode Island red chickens to Jim Lane, which is my cousin, or my mom's cousin. My cousin, same difference. Oh, shit. I know it's on here. Because cause I have seen it on here before. I don't know if it got deleted or what happened. But I will find it for y'all guys. Or if it's, if it's got deleted somehow. I will put it back on there if I... Um, still have it on my phone. So I'm gonna pause this. Okay, so I don't know where it is. I have no idea. But, if you hear noise in the background, it's my cat. It's over there. But, yeah. Thomas, quit making noises. Yeah, just check out my videos. I'm going to log out this. Go to my room. Alright, so I took the top off a while ago. Um, I got that FedEx thing so I can send my other incubator back because the motor was broken and this part. There's arm in there, see that? That was off and that was fell down. It was all screwed up. Um, but yeah. Hold on, we're gonna fix that problem. And now there's a hole up right here. Get up square so you stick a finger in there. 
And you think this is flimsy? I said in my other video, you think this is flimsy? You're wrong. This is really just just one hand holding up. It's not bending. Unless I do this. Then but really strong, really good. Um, set that right there. And here is the bottom part. It's got water in it already, but I'm going to put some more in there. Because I got five eggs so far. I'm going to wait till tomorrow. See how many eggs I get, one or two. And then I'm going to put that in this incubator. This is a really great incubator. So far it is. So far, really great incubator. We'll just see how the hatch rate is. It don't look like look at it. It don't look like it holds 48 eggs, but believe it or not, it holds 48 eggs. Hopefully, it it'll have a good hatch rate. So I forgot to put more water in it. How silly me. Um, but I'm gonna put some more water in and everything and, and then power it up and then show you. Okay, so it just got filled full of water. All of it is. Got water in it. And now I'm trying for the mat to go in. Don't know what side. Goes on this side. Because this side is. Goes like that. This side is mine. This, uh, I know which side it is. It's this side. So, yeah. Time for this part. And make sure, if you want this to turn, make sure you plug it in together. So, that's what I'm going to do right now. Just like this. Snap it together. that on good. What I did I just left it in the styrofoam. Give it extra insulation, cut out that. Some other video then you would know that I did that. But here's the cord. All we do plug it in there just like that. And then plug it into the wall. Eighty watts of power right here. That's all it uses. And just like that, turn it on, and I'll show you how to set your temperature. So, first, press set, and oh, it's kind of hard to do it with one hand. First, press set right there, and then press the the plus button. So I'm gonna set that right now. Okay, so set it for 93.5, and then it turns off by itself. Let me get done. 90, 93, oh, 39.5, which is close to 93 in Fahrenheit, but because I had my temperature gauge in there earlier, before. And this is days right here, and all you gotta do is press reset. I didn't even read the manual. I mean, I did read it some about chicks and stuff like that, but um, but really, I figured all that out. How to work it myself? Made in China, just egg incubator, no name brand. Name brand, I guess you could call it egg incubator. Name brand, I guess. If you consider egg incubator to be name brand, then. Every countdown is two hours to turn the eggs. That's pretty good. So far as I had it. 
haven't been using it. 